All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabout Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Janitor's Closet mod, which is being made by forum user Linux Guru Gamer. And oh man, guys, I wish I would have looked at this mod when it first came out months ago. But sadly, it was one of the many, many mods that got added to what I like to call my purgatory list of things I'll get to eventually, and this could have saved me quite a bit of hassle in the, I think, six or seven months since it first came out, as what this mod looks to add into the game is the ability for you to be able to clean up the parts lists in the VAB and Space Plan Hangar, and that is a powerful, powerful thing to be able to do, as we've all had this problem. I mean, if you guys are honest with yourself, at some point, you've downloaded far too many mods so that if we say jump into the vehicle assembly building that even with the search bar and the various categories it still became a pain to look for certain parts because you just had too many of the darn things and what this mod will do is allows you to hide parts you don't care to use at the moment either through powerful filters or or even by letting you individually select parts you don't want to see. And that is actually my favorite thing, because I cannot tell you guys how many mods I've looked at that I love, but there's certain bits and bobs within them that I'm just never gonna use. And why include them in my parts list if I don't care to ever use them? ever and it allows me to do that so let's go through how this whole thing works and first and foremost we're gonna have to go down here to this lovely new button that we have which if we simply hover our mouse cursor over this button this janitor's closet menu will pop up with these four options to show all the parts that you are currently blocking from view a perma prune which we'll talk about in a little bit mod filters which allow you to do overall sort of large scale filtration to turn on and off things, and then an import export function. Again, we'll get to all these momentarily. Now that's if you hover over the button. If you click the button, which I'm probably going to accidentally do at many, many points going through this today, this brings up a help toolbar area to basically tell you everything I'm going to tell you here, frankly. I'll be honest with you guys. This is instructions about what all everything is, how to work it, how it functions, etc. Very good tool for if you ever forget what I'm going to talk to you today about, but uh, I'm a more of a visual learner, so let's go through how this works. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you off is, or show off to you, rather, is pruning or hiding individual parts because it is as I said I think my favorite part about this mod and I think the most powerful tool and if we hold down the alt key and right click on a part we get this little blocker menu that comes up and we have two options either block all or right now, block in VAB. Now, if we were in the space plane hangar, it would have a block SPH there instead of the VAB. And this allows you to only hide and or block this part just in this view. But if you select block all, it will block it in both the VAB and the space plane hangar. So what we're gonna do real quick just to show that off is these three bottom parts here, we are gonna hide just in the VAB. There we go, there we are. And then these three, we're gonna block for all. So let's just go ahead and do that. And now the first thing I'd like to show off is back down here if we hover over the button and go to the show blocked list. And this comes up with all six of those parts that I just hid, which now are not showing up in the command pod section of our parts list. And you can see here it has the names of the individual parts, where they're being hidden, so either in both the VAB or space, space plane hangar, or all, and a button to unblock them, so basically to bring it back. And this is a great little list because if you do, if you did hide a part you didn't mean to, you can just go back in here and unclick them individually, or of course dump all of them at once. Uh, but we're not going to do that quite yet, as we're going to click OK, and we're actually going to quickly leave here and go to the space plane hangar to show you that three of them should still be hidden, while the other three should now be there. So let's just jump right on in here. 
And there we go, these three have returned, but the other three that we had selected for hide all in both the space plane hangar and VAB are no longer showing. So that's how that basic functionality works. And it's a useful tool because say for instance, you only want to block out stuff you're not gonna use in one or the other, as there's plenty of parts that I find myself in many mods that just simply I never use in the VAB or I never use in the space plan hangar. So I can hide those determined by which building I'm in, which is very, very handy to do. But if we go back to the vehicle assembly building here, I'm gonna show off one problem that the mod currently has. If we go back to that show blocked list, you'll see that all six parts are here but the name has disappeared. This is a problem with the mod that I've been having. It, um, yeah, it does that. It, if you go between buildings or exit the VAB for any reason and come back in, uh, the names disappear. They all are still there, and if we say unblock all, all six of them do return, but the, uh, it just for some reason that list seems to lose the names. I'm not entirely sure why. Hopefully that can be fixed in the future, but for now it's just, a, I think, a minor inconvenience. But that's how the uh, part blocker works, and it's very, very convenient. Now one thing I should mention about the part blocker, for instance, if I do go to hide, these three parts up here because frankly I can't remember which one it uses. Now we've hidden those three command pods. And of course if we go to open and say go to the iron powered space probe and load that, well, even though we've hidden that particular command pod, it's still there and available to be flown. And that is a key thing. It's just hiding it in the parts list. You can still launch a craft that you've already built with them, and if a craft is still in space, it can still use that part. So that is a very good thing to remember there. You're not physically removing those parts unless you prune them. That is what the perma prune list does. And right now, if we clicked this and perma pruned our current list of things that are blocked, this craft would not be able to load because of that particular command pod would no longer exist in the game. Now it doesn't delete them, don't worry about that. What it does is it renames them to something else so that it can't be picked up for the parts list. So if we actually, uh, I think if we delete this now it might crash the game while I have a probe open with it. But if we currently go just quick to show the block list, we have those three command pods. And if we go to permanently prune them, well, there we go. We get this little thing that pops up showing exactly what all was pruned. And this list can actually get pretty uh, crazy because say if we would have pruned one of these uh, manned command pods, it would actually have multiple entries for each because it includes things like the interior that it has to prune. And those parts are now gone from the game. We cannot load a ship with those parts. And if you have a ship with one of those parts out in the world somewhere, well, it's now gonna get deleted because that is of course how Kerbal Space Program handles parts or ships rather with missing parts. Now we can always undo that. If we go back to Perma Prune, we can undo Permanent Prune. And there we go, we bring that back and they're back to being existing. But here's a fun thing, because of course they haven't shown back up on this list because they're still considered blocked. And actually I should point out here something I should have pointed out a moment ago. The perma prune is only going to prune parts that have been selected for all. It will not prune something that has only been selected to be hidden from the VAB or the space plane hangar. It will only permanently prune things that have been selected as all. And then now that they are back, they haven't been pruned, we can simply unblock and they're good to go once again. So that is an interesting tool if you definitely have parts you never want to use. This just blocking things is for if you have parts you temporarily don't care for, 
perma prune is for ones you never want to see ever again. And so that's what those two things are for. Now the next one down the list is the mod filters, and this, oh this is fun. If we click that we have this new UI element, which uh, is a very, very powerful filtering tool. Now it has a couple of different things here. The first one is mods by name. And you'll notice I still have from our last episode the uh, interstellar mass accelerators installed in here. And because it is a separate mod, well, it, it shows up here. Basically, it's grabbing any folder in your game data folder where all your parts exist that have parts within them. So any mod with parts will show up in this list. And we can, say for instance, turn this off. Oh look, all those parts just went away. Or we could, for instance, go over to module size and filter by size. Say, I don't want things with 2.5 meters. Oh, they've went away now too. And that is in every one of these lists. All 2.5 meter parts have been hidden. And these are just sort of generic filters that aren't counted towards the block list or the perma prune. They're just in these filters here. And what's fun is you'll notice all of these different numbers we have here. These allow you to save basically multiple different filters. So if we go to two, well look, the 2.5s have returned and so has Interstellar Mass Accelerator. So say for instance, we don't want squad parts. <laughs> there we go. That is now saved in two, so it's only the Interstellar things. But if we go back to one, well now Interstellar's gone and so are all the 2.5 size containers. And you can go back and forth between the two at a whim. And of course, you can reset all of the things, show all, hide all, etc. It is entirely up to you. And this is a really great tool for filtering on the fly. The blocking and perma pruning are perfect for long term hiding of items you don't care about. This is perfect for doing it, well, on the fly, you know, just hiding what you need at that time. And it's a very, very fun tool. So there we go, that's a much simpler one to go through there. Let's close out of that and go to our final button here, which is the export slash import. Now this is another great tool because, well, what if you say have pruned a load of parts, but you, you don't want to save them forever. You just kind of wanted to save them for that session. Well, you can export them. So say for instance, if we want to import a new blocked list, well, there we go. I can hide, say, all the different crew cabins with this cabins list that I did create earlier. So if we select that, well, there just went all the different crew cabins in the utility section here. And if we go to our blocked list, we'll see that those four are blocked. Now again, we're getting the weird name thing. I, I don't know why that happens. I really want that to be fixed. But we see that there are four different command, or not command pods, but crew capsules that are now all here. And we can, of course, unblock them to bring them back and have them return. No real issue there. And yeah, you can import and export at will. So say if we only wanted to hide uh, these three things right here, those three specific things. Bam, there we go. We can go to the export, we can choose to export that thing, and random name, there we are. And if we clear, oh, I told you I was gonna do that. I told you I was gonna click that thing when I didn't mean to. But there we go, we have unlocked all, so those have returned. And if we go to import that same one we just made, bam, select that. And there they go. So you can actually save your different sorts and filters that you create by blocking whatever items you desire and then throw them out into the world. And what's quite fun about these, if we just go back to the import, they actually exist in your game data folder inside janitor's closet inside the plugins data so you can actually grab these these are physical files you can then share with friends so if you and your friend both have the same mod list you can throw them say this one which will turn off these convertotrons and bam there they just went and it's a great tool you can save whatever different hidden things you want and then just load them as you need them it is a very very powerful and cool tool that I really, really love. And uh, yeah, that actually, I think, is everything. A little bit longer than I was hoping to explain this, but I mean, 
Uh, some of these things are a bit wonky to explain, like with the perma pruning. But yes, it's a great tool. So you can block individual items or you can permanently prune them forever or filter out just specific mods or part sizes and then they can all be imported and exported at your command to, you know, save for future use. And that is a beautiful, beautiful tool. And so if you would like to download this mod for yourself, and I definitely would say to go and do it as it is very, very handy to have, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode today. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next episode, when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!